All right, what is up, my viewers? Bang here, bringing you yet another World of Tanks gameplay commentary. It's going to be another submission from Gang Boy, and this time he's going to be driving a Sexton 2 on a standard battle on mines. So, uh, yeah, it's p day four of post-operation recovery. My eyes are doing much better today. I can actually read things a lot better on my computer screen, so there won't be so much guessing this match. And it's so this one probably going to be a little bit interesting, considering he's driving the Sexton 2, which. Uh, as far as I can tell, is an artillery piece. Not very many of those replays get sent in. Just for the fact that artillery can usually... It, it's usually hard to make it as interesting, or it's usually hard to have those really fun games in Artie, especially considering how much Artie does rely on luck a, a lot of the times, especially in the higher tiers, when your targeting circle is just so large. It's all about the luck most of the time. But right here, getting into a pretty standard arty position, five artillery for his team, and it looks like four artillery, nope, five for the enemy team as well. It's going to be a tier three match, but most of the tier three vehicles, a significant number of them anyway, are artillery. And right here, he's already aiming in, might even get a, oh, he might get a two for, oh, just a one. So taking out a T2, a tier two, in a match with a lot of twos and threes. So, I mean, I don't believe there are any tier ones for either team. No, it does not look like there are. This tier two tank trying to move up a bit quickly, but immediately repositioning to try and take out this enemy artillery, recognizing that one of his responsibilities as artillery is to take out the enemy's artillery. Counter battery is a very important thing. However, once you get into the higher tiers where your rate of fire significantly starts taking a hit, it's not so viable anymore. Honestly, the French artillery are probably one of the better ones at it considering their fast reload and aim times. But there we go, managing to knock out one of the enemy arties and immediately repositioning to try and hit this T18. A very significant threat. This is a 9.2 replay, by the way. So T18s, I believe, got a bit of a nerf in 9.3, but still managing to do quite a bit of damage, helping out his T18 ally against a very significant threat. Ooh, his <laughs> AMX 38 getting a little bit cheeky there. The T18s, they've got great armor on the front, not so much on the sides. They're very boxy, good targets for artillery, but also, you know, if you can get on their sides, they can't turn all too quickly, and they can't back up worth a damn. So, right there. His team solidly holding a 5-3 lead at the moment, and it's definitely recoverable for the enemy team at this point, but they're going to have to work a bit at it, especially it looks like considering Game Boy's team not really doing uh, too much of a push in the city. It, it, again, it's hard to tell whether or not that's accurate due to the fact that in lower tiers, a lot of the vehicles don't have good radios, and if you don't have radios, a good radio, you can't talk to your team and uh, tell them where the enemy tanks are. It, that's one of the things that makes artillery harder to play in the lower tiers, is the fact that your teammates really can't talk to you as much, be like, hey, I see an enemy tank here. But if you're out of radio range, it doesn't do you a lick of good. So right here, he's actually looking like he's going to get a shot on this cruiser. The British tank's definitely known for their high damage and penetration in the lower tiers. And right here, he's trying to lead the target ever so carefully. There we go. He just waited until that tank stopped moving altogether and did manage to get a solid 106 damage on him. Barely leaving him alive, but his teammates finishing him off. And a bit of a threat towards him now. He's got this enemy light tank trying to push up on him. He still isn't spotted, though. He is well, uh, well safe for the moment anyway. And he's trying to call for a little bit of help from his allies. His allies definitely not in too great of a position to help, considering the fact that they are losing 7 to 9, 7 to 10. And it's looking very quickly like this game has turned around and Gang Boy is really going to have to start m moving a lot of metal to make his team have any sort of chance of winning. An enemy tank destroyer spotted in the center, but he's certainly more concerned about that light tank coming up on him, and as rightfully he should be, he knows he is going to be capable of killing it, he just has to go a bit of TD mode. 7 to 11, that tank gap growing ever wider, and this light tank currently occupied and trying to kill something else. Uh, I'm guessing he might be trying to shoot at that wasp. I'm not sure, but he is trying to ever so cautiously lead the target, bouncing a shot, and unfortunately, it looked like tracking or splashing for no damage. He has loaded AP, so that was a track, and he is going full TD mode as artillery. Sexton 2, surprisingly having enough armor to bounce this, but it is tier 2 versus tier 3, and that is a noticeable gap. It's not insurmountable. It's not one of those things that can't be overcome, but it is certainly noticeable. And right there, the Sexton 2 just demonstrating that it does have armor worthwhile when fighting that tier 2 light tank. 
hiding it from enemy already definitely a wise decision considering how spotted he was and he has gone back to high explosive shells so he is fully intent on going back into arty mode but it is down to him one other artillery and a tier 3 light tank so uh what is that light tank by the way an ltp somewhat formidable but he's going td mode without a gun and he will get the kill that enemy t46 certainly not <laughs> any sort of match for that just point blank range high explosive shot and it looks like his LTP ally in a little bit of trouble versus target this Valentine and lock. he did do a quick target lock just to make sure he wasn't gonna lose any sort of aiming on it and there we go he's probably gonna get the kill right here nope hitting nothing but wall unfortunately I'm not sure exactly what that hit but that certainly didn't come anywhere close to hitting that Valentine the LTP just doing his best to keep spotting him the Valentine apparently not having seen his uh, gang boys shot from his artillery the Valentine, I guess, not having that good of spotting or just the Sexton being far enough away. He will get the kill in an enemy T-46, I believe. I can't read that quite as nicely as I would like to. There we go. Uh, quickly prioritizing that AMX, which AMX definitely known for its armor and a wise decision to prioritize that target. What is friendly artillery is doing? Not quite so sure at this point that uh, it looks like that other artillery really hasn't done much of anything considering he has no kills. I'm not even sure if he's shot anything, uh, but that was Gangboy shot right there. Unfortunately, missing despite landing almost directly on top of it. Another drawback of lower tier artillery. No splash damage whatsoever, but five kills for Gangboy at this point, and he's doing very well for himself, and he will get the kill right there. So that's kill number six, Top Gun. Even if his team loses this match, he still gets as much points as if he won it. So that's one of the nice things about that Top Gun award that confederate award any of those battle hero medals if you get them like high caliber same points and ex uh, same credits and experiences if you won so he's already locked in himself uh, a very good match for his end game results but question is can he actually pull his team from the brink of defeat here and it's 11 to 12 now it's pretty even there's three enemy artillery and that last vehicle is you know the last actual tank is that t46 and then it's going to be an ltp and two arties versus three artilleries and in these lower tier games that still can go either way especially considering what there's still a sexton 2 for the enemy team yes there is so as we saw er earlier a sexton 2 actually has semi-decent armor versus these lower tiers and against a tier 4 it won't be able to do anything but well probably not do anything i actually have never played the sexton 2 but it it's one of those things of you don't usually rely on artillery to have armor it's not really one of those things t46 pulling out and the shot hitting the rock instead like i said at the best of times artillery is 50 percent luck you can only aim in so much you can only lead the target so much but that shell is still going to be at the mercy of rng every time you take that shot and sometimes you can be aimed in not at all and it'll go directly where you need it to and other times you'll be aimed in all the way and it'll hit towards the edge of the circle it's one of those things that makes artillery frustrating to play and honestly a lot of people think the devs should revisit the artillery mechanic i'm one of them but um and some people say they should just outright move artillery from the game altogether i don't quite agree with that but I certainly think the artillery mechanic needs to be looked at again and maybe reworked, maybe not be so hard hitting per shot. And maybe give it more splash damage, make it more of an area of effect weapon. Give it a unique role of discouraging the enemy from bunching up and not doing like 1500 damage to a single target in the higher tiers, uh, but like doing 200 damage across like five targets. You're still going to be doing the same average damage across more targets. And obviously you would have to make Confederate, readjust the Confederate metal for artillery in that case. But it would definitely discourage enemy tanks from bunching up. It Definitely encourage enemy tanks to move a bit more, uh, considering that splash damage. And it, it'd be like, okay, we can't stay here. We're, we're just going to get chipped away by a, a artillery. Uh, instead of, okay, right here, he might get this final shot. Yes, there we go. An artillery kills seven to, uh, to kills total. So he's definitely carrying hard. And it's 12 to 13. That enemy tank still alive. That What was that, T-46? T-46, yes, still doing well enough for himself. And right here... Enemy artillery, Sexton 2 versus Sexton 2. Who's going to come out on top? He should be already safe, depending on where that final artillery is. If anything, it's probably sitting in the base. But uh, I believe that Sexton 2 was spotted by the Wesp on the hill, who 
to the best of my knowledge, is still doing nothing. Ooh, T46 getting tracked, and will Gangboy reload in time? Like I said, he, his armor not really doing much at all. He's trying to use the dead husk of the enemy to provide cover for him. Enemy Sexton 2 trying to get between him and that T46, but he will kill the enemy Sexton 2. And the T46 looking to get that final shot, and he will. So, eight kills. He definitely earned. Uh, he's definitely going to get the same points as if he won. But right there going, Lil, I, I guess he's just laughing at the fact that he did so well despite his team doing so poorly. And it looks like that Wesp finally taking a shot. Um, I guess I can't jump around to his allies? Maybe I can. Uh, well, I guess now I can't. Still, Mastery Badge definitely. So we'll see if he's right about that. And of course he is, so Mastery Badge, Ace Tanker, very well played, high caliber, and Top Gun. Like I said, Defeat, still earning the same experience and credits as if he would have won. Um, it, it, again, he's not running premium, so that's what he would have earned with premium, 1372. I'm not sure if you can read that all too clearly, but we'll try and get to another screen. Still, the number of tanks he damaged and destroyed, very impressive. Team score, uh, total damage over a thousand. Hence, I believe that is one of the, the prerequisites for high caliber. You have to do over a thousand damage, possibly. I can't remember all the things that go into that, but it will say right here. Yeah, at least 1,000 hit points of damage and 20% of the enemy team's total hit points, etc., etc. There's a lot of things that go into high caliber. It's not just so cut and dry as Top Gun where you kill at least six enemy vehicles. But still, very well played. And overall, experience earned, I mean, compared to the rest of his team, it's going to be much higher because he did get that Battle Hero Awards, uh, two of them actually, and so he is earning the same experience as one of the enemy victors. Still, even compared to them, outscoring even their guys by a large margin, uh, really it just it is so unfortunate his team was so useless. That Wesp, zero damage, zero kills. Like I said, pretty much being useless the entire round. That platoon, really not doing anything at all. It was a platoon of two SU-18 artilleries, and I guess they just couldn't find it within themselves to do much of anything. The other artillery doing pretty much nothing at all as well. So uh, his T-18 ally doing a bit of damage, and who was the second most useful? Yeah, that AMX, second most useful, followed closely by that OSP C. So the Panzer 1C doing a decent job for himself, but still, fact of the matter is, he carried so hard for his team, but in the end, it just wasn't enough. But that DPM, though, definitely impressive, earning himself a high caliber in a tier 3 game. You've got to be pulling some serious weight to do that. So, uh, I know he sent me the comment, do you even DPM? And I think that's an appropriate title for this match. It's just the fact of the damage he was putting out. Very impressive. But... I think that's going to about do that for this match. Again, I apologize for the poor quality of the audio. I am, again, recording this on a Logitech headset, the G430s, not my very nice G35s. And I'm trying to be productive in my post-operation recovery, so I do thank you guys for your patience and understanding on that. But anyway, if you like this video, click that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. And if you've got a replay, uh, be sure to check the description below for instructions on how to submit. And if you've got suggestions or comments on how I can make my videos or channel better, that's what the comment section is for I will definitely give every single comment to consideration I given how few of you guys there are uh, comparatively speaking uh, I do see every comment and I uh, read them all so just keep that in mind but until next time this is Bang and I am signing off yeah.